Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently add subtitles to your videos just like these ones. So let's say there's a video on YouTube that you like and you want to download it from YouTube with the subtitles. But unfortunately, the subtitles aren't hard coded into the video. You can only download SRT files from YouTube. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can download a video from YouTube and add subtitles to that video permanently, which is what we call hard coding subtitles into a video. So the tool we're going to be using to do this is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is VE and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are going to be in the description below. So once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. Now here we are in Veed's video editor, and this is where we want to upload our video. Now, instead of just clicking on the upload video button, we're going to click on this little drop down arrow, and then we're going to select YouTube. Now this is where we need to go to a YouTube video, and I'm just going to copy the link from a YouTube video that I've just posted to Veed's YouTube channel paste it and then click on import. Now, as we can see, the video is being imported into Veed's timeline. So if I click play, hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this as you can see, I have my YouTube video in Veed's video editor. Now all I need to do is add subtitles. So to do this, we're going to hover over to the subtitle tab, click on it, and then we're going to be using the auto subtitle tool to add subtitles permanently to our video. So if I click on the auto subtitle tool, I select the language that I'm talking in, I'm speaking English, and then I click on start. And now Veed takes anywhere between a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on the length of your video, to automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn that text into subtitles. So now we can see it is just finished and you'll notice that subtitles have appeared in three different locations. We have them on the actual video canvas, we have them in the timeline and in the subtitle editor. So if I click play from the beginning, Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to split your video. So let's say you have a video clip and you want to separate it into... Okay, perfect. So now you can see that I have my video and I have subtitles. Now, the very first thing you might notice is that the first subtitle is wrong. This is only due to the fact that it made mistakes on my name and the name of Veed. So to correct subtitles, you can easily just click on any of these bubbles and quickly just edit the text and the changes are made in real time on the screen. So let me just start out with, hey, everyone, perfect. Okay, as well as correcting the spelling of your subtitles, if there are some mistakes, you can also change the timing for each subtitle. To do so, you can either manually input it with your keyboard. For example, if I want this to start at 0.2 seconds, all I have to do is change it with my keyboard. If I want it to start from the beginning, I just place my playhead wherever I want the subtitle to start and click on this stopwatch and it automatically adapts to that time. And it's the same for the end of each subtitle. Again, if I want to end this one, let's say 0.1 seconds sooner, I can end it at exactly four like this. There we go. And now because we're permanently adding the subtitles to the video, so we're hard coding them, the styling of our subtitles are going to matter. If you're downloading them as SRT files, you can click on the option tab, click the download as SRT file, and then the styling won't matter. But because we are permanently adding them to the video, the styling does matter. So if we click on the style tab right here, we have a bunch of different presets we can choose from. This is one of my favorites with the drop shadow. If not, you can customize them entirely with a bunch of different tools. You can change the font, the font size. You can also change the style and you can click on the advanced the button right here to adjust the letter spacing, the line height, and also change again, more styling. You can also change the color of the drop shadow if you want to. And then you can also click and drag your subtitles around on the screen. You can adjust the subtitle text bubble. You can make it bigger or smaller, and then you can also rotate. So you have a lot of freedom when it comes to styling your subtitles. And obviously every single subtitle has the same style. So there you go. Once you're happy with how you've styled your subtitles and you've corrected them, you've gone through the spelling, you've gone through the timing and you're happy with them, to download your video with the subtitles hard-coded into the video, click on the download button in the top right. Once you've clicked on this download button, Veed starts to render your video. And then once it's finished rendering, you can download your video with its new permanent subtitles. And that is how to add subtitles to your videos permanently. If you have any questions about adding subtitles to your videos permanently, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.